Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and if you're new here, welcome and I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. I am participating in the 30 day challenge uh, for the month of March and I'm showing you the sketch here by Jessica Michaels. The prompt for this uh, today's uh, challenge is to use mixed media. I'm showing you the paper pad here called Sophisticated Neutrals. This is from Park Lane, uh, which you can pick up at Joann's. I purchased it uh, quite a while ago when they had their paper pads for sale. I'm showing you here um, the couple of papers that I've decided to use. Uh, the sketch calls for a 12 by 12 layout, but I'm going to uh, be actually creating a eight and a half by 11 layout. Here are some of the tools that I'm going to bring in that stencil. I couldn't even tell you I've had that in my stash for a while. I have some smaller photos that I've used that hexagon punch. So, um, this is, um, I have, I had some very small photos, I think, uh, uh, printed out using, uh, using an app there. I, I don't know necessarily that they're two by two. They seem a little wonkier. They're probably one and a half by maybe two. Um, so here I'm just showing you some of the things that I may be bringing in, in terms of cut aparts and things like that. I've also gone ahead and pulled my feminine slash girly um, themed embellishments. Uh, and this is how I store them in those plastic envelopes. I just have had them in my stash for a really long time. I'm just flipping through to see what I think may work with the photos. Uh, they're very old photos. They're about <laughs> 21 years old. That's how old our, our oldest, our oldest daughter is. Um, and, uh, I've, I think I got these, uh, these Echo Park, uh, embellishments in a warehouse box. And so I'm going to go ahead and I've never used them. I'm going to go ahead and pull them in. Um, you'll see them a little bit closer, uh, when I do bring them in, but they're, um, they're epoxy, uh, stickers as well as, um, they're not puffies, um, epoxy stickers and rub-ons. That's what it is. So here I'm just showing you, I'm going to be using this fresh peach. I'm going to be, uh, doing a little bit of, oh, I, I already did. Um, so this is, I'm just showing you like how I kind of tested the colors, uh, trying to figure out, I wanted something really soft, really subtle. Um, I did not want it to be as bold, uh, as you see it there. So here I'm, I know I've already have the, um, the stencil, uh, and I've used the, the, uh, ink pads on that, but I'm also thinking about possibly bringing in some mist for those splashes of color. So I'm just trying to decide, this is a swatch that I created just using index cards. Um, and I have the names of the uh, manufacturer and the color on the back. Um, so I think that I'm going to use this Heidi swap pink. Uh, and then I swatched it because I didn't want to put it on there. I realized that it's way too dark. And so I'm going to opt for that one, which is the blush. I've just written, um, the color on there. So I'm going to bring that in. This is one uh, that I bought a long time ago on clearance from Michael. So I'm going ahead and I'm using it. Uh, I'm just doing, this is my splatter technique. <laughs> Nothing fancy. My splatter technique. Um, and it goes on my desk, but it's super easy to wipe. Um, here I'm considering doing the packaging technique. And this is like the only packaging that I could find uh, my room is still in a little bit of shambles, uh, unpacked and all of that. But, uh, the painting in our house, uh, should be coming along hopefully fairly soon. Definitely should be more underway than it already is. I mean, they're here, but it's, it's a slow going, but anyway, so here, um, uh, I'm just kind of 
prepping the it's such a small piece of packaging that I'm like I want to make sure that the splatter is like it's not just going to look like one giant blob so I'm making sure that it's spread out and I'm just I tested it you see in the center where I know the photos are going to be so again I know that part is going to get covered up so I'm just testing it it's better to test it than uh than having to I mean you could always cover it up don't worry about that but I'd rather not pitch the whole layout just because I made a mistake that I can't cover so that's why I did that in the center and now I'm like oh I like it so I'm spreading it out a little bit more uh, am I gonna add some more yes I'm gonna add a little bit more uh, the colors again are very subtle these are you'll see um, in the close-ups that they're small but they're they're really soft uh, baby pictures um, you know the colors in them are not uh, stark or anything like that so I want the softness to be there that background paper is actually marbled so I technically technically didn't even need to do anything but oh well I did I I went ahead and I still did it and I think it looks I like the way it came out uh, here like I said I went ahead and took like hexagon punch um, onto those photos and as well as some of the pattern paper from the paper pad to create um, the visual of a mix of the pattern papers and the photos uh, in the hexagons and here uh, the title of the layout is Oh Baby uh, and I'm just adding some of the rub-ons here. Um, some of these rub-ons, um, I will say I had to, I had to, uh, I struggled with some of them because I had to, like, I knew I did a good job about pushing them down, but then lifted them up a little bit and then realized that they didn't completely go on quite as good as I wanted them to. So here are the epoxy stickers and I'm just kind of, I'm trying to figure out where I want to place them. And then uh, I know I definitely, there are these little cute, oh, this one got uh, adhered way too uh, wonky for me, for my liking. So I went ahead and picked that up with that creative memory uh, sticker, sticker picker upper. <laughs> And now I'm just using that to place um, the different, the other embellishments. This little one, which well, is not so little anymore, but she had a thing about her banky. So I knew I had to include the banky in there. I'm trying to see if like cute little shapes like the sheep will fit in the hexagons and things like that. But I'm trying to remember, I know the bib goes on there. Uh, oh, the little onesie. The little onesie goes on there and then um and then the um the bib will come on um i hope you guys have it comes back it comes together super quick uh you know once uh the mixed media part was oh i really love this carriage wanted to include it but it just it didn't fit it like overlapped so um, but I was saying, I hope that you're enjoying uh, the uh, series this month, and I hope that you have uh, gotten a chance to uh, watch all of the ladies that are participating in the challenge for the month. Um, and um, I'm going to bring you here. I'm just still testing out the epoxy stickers here, finally. Uh, I think I end up adding... Uh, my journaling in that center one it again it's not um uh i'm trying to remember oh i know what i end up doing i end up uh, adding that um uh, flower yes uh, i'm testing it out to see how it looks i really like how that looks there uh i do end up putting it there um, but anyway, I do hope that you have been enjoying the content that I've been bringing you as well as the other ladies who are participating. Um, and I'm trying my best to continue. Uh, we're about the halfway mark here for the month and, um, I hope to be able to continue to bring you daily content, um, as much as, uh, my schedule and my time allows, um, 
but I do hope that if you uh, aren't a subscriber, you go ahead and consider subscribing um, and uh, feel free to um, uh, drop a comment if you are enjoying the series and um, or if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, write it in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I do hope that, that you'll come back again tomorrow for uh, sketch number 15. Oof. It's looking good, guys. All right. Here's some close-ups. Enjoy the music. Bye.